I'm shocked I was able to fit these two bags on the back of my cake electric scooter. I literally like, I really thought this is gonna be the time where I'm scooting down the road and Trader Joe's items go everywhere. And how much would that have been? That would have been $167 worth of Trader Joe's items on the street. But guess what? That didn't happen. I made it home and I'm really, really hungry. So let's jump right into this two bag haul. Um, there's a couple brand new items I'm really excited to sample. And then some items are back, which I'm very excited about. So let's jump on in. I'm Natasha with Natasha's List. Please be sure to like and subscribe to my channel. And let's see what I got. Okay, first things first, $167. That's not too bad, not too bad at all. I'm gonna just part the, the sea of bags so you guys can see me. Um, let's just start, start from the top. Sometimes Trader Joe's has this. This is the romaine hearts that are organic. They come in the plastic tub, which is upsetting for a lot of people. It doesn't bother me too much because I'll recycle it. But um, I like this romaine because it's already washed. And I have a salad spinner, but sometimes I don't make a salad because I'm like, oh, I have to wash the romaine. So this like helps me romaine calm. Um, then I picked up, this is a brand new salad, Pomodoro Cremoso salad kit. One of those words I'm sure I've butchered. An Italian inspired five lettuce blend, creamy tomato vinaigrette, and rosemary focaccia croutons and Parmesan cheese strips. Yummy. I'm gonna be making dinner for a friend this week, so that will be the salad I make. This is brand new. I'm like looking in this bag, like what's in here? Teeny tiny fruity cuties. This is a sweetened corn and oat cereal. The box looks a lot like Magic Spoon, like fun colors, but it does have a lot of sugars added, 12 grams of sugars. I'm not like a big sugar person in the morning because then my blood sugar levels are all over the place all week and then I'm all week, all day, and then I'm just hungry. But I did open this, wow. Um, it smells like it wants to be Fruit Loops, but it has like a healthier smell to it. So there's other shapes. For some reason, I just grabbed different ones. I don't know what the shapes are. I'm gonna pretend like these aren't banana shaped. Um, what are the flavors in here? Well, it's got corn, a lot of sugar, oat flour. Um, it's really just like, seems like a corn cereal with a little bit of oat flour, but let's try it. Mm -hmm. Definitely very good. A lot of fruity, fruity um, pebbles and fruit loop um, vibes. Definitely tasty. I feel like a toddler eating it out of my hand, but that's pretty good. Again, not the cereal, not like the breakfast for me. If I'm going to have a cereal in the morning, it will always be Magic Spoon, just because I love the, I'll show you guys what it looks like. I just love the amount of protein that's in Magic Spoon cereal. See, see how the boxes are similar? Um, this one's definitely way more expensive just because it's high quality protein, no sugar, stuff like that. But if you don't care about sugar intake in the morning and you just want something easy to eat, this is tasty. You could also put this in like a little snack bag and have it on the go. If, one, if any of you guys are wondering if Magic Spoon's in Trader Joe's, it's not, you can get it online. I'll put a link when I post this video to it. This isn't bad. It's just, I'm gonna have time and eat the whole box. I'm also gonna close it because I have a feeling I'm gonna like knock it over and cereal's gonna go everywhere. I picked up another bag of patio potato chips. Again, I didn't need them, but they were in stock. And we all know how things go. Like one minute they're in stock, the next minute they're not. And you just don't know when Trader Joe's is gonna take something away from you. So generally buy it if you see it. I've been wanting to buy this for a long time. It's not new at all, but it's smoked rainbow trout fillets. And I have been on the biggest rainbow trout kick ever. Like I've been making it, you guys, if you look at my stories on Instagram, I make it like once a week. I'm probably opening this completely wrong. I make it like once a week and I do like the frozen rainbow trout and I put the green goddess seasoning on it and I fry it. And then I have it with the japchae. I'm saying it wrong. Every week we correct me, but I can't even remember my own passwords to things. So I'm not gonna remember the correct enunciation of things that I say twice a week. Um, but I wanna try this because I like smoked salmon, but I just go through waves with it, so. Um, and one of the things I like about trout is that it doesn't have a super fishy taste. 
It really like, it's so mild. Like the way I've been cooking this rainbow trout, you can't even taste it. This, when you smell it, you don't really smell um, fish at all. You just smell kind of like it's been smoked. Sorry, I've never had this before. So I'm trying to figure out the proper way to get it out. Mmm, it's really good. It reminds me of being somewhere in Europe. I think when I was in Italy years ago, I had some sort of like smoked fish. It also reminds me of being at my grandpa's house, which I haven't been at in a very long time. He passed away years ago, but that reminds me of something I would have there. But it's, it's very salty, very, very good. Wow, I feel fancy having that. Um, I picked up more olive oil. I'm all out, so I... The olive oil for today is the 100% Italian President's Reserve. I don't know if it's the President of Italy's Reserve or what the President's Reserve means, but I did read the back. If you guys have seen um, Flav City, Bobby, he always talks about olive oils. I had him on my channel um, and he gave us a good lesson on like what to look out for because you want to make sure you're not buying like rancid oils that have been just like put through the mill to taste okay. You want oils that have all come from one place and are processed in the same place. So these are, um, olives are grown in Puglia, Sicily, and Calabria regions in Italy. So it's all Italian and it's made in Italy. Um, I think this one should be pretty good. So we got that. That's a big bottle. I like downsize it into smaller bottles that I keep in the fridge. I got three bags of cauliflower rice. Because I'm making dinner for my friend this week. Um, she was in like a bike accident and, um, I'm gonna go over there and make her some dinner. She's doing okay. She got out of the hospital, but um, be safe when you're on your bikes because it's not a lot, a lot of times it's not you, or even if you're walking. I had another friend get hit walking across a crosswalk. So it, it's usually not the person that's in control. It's the person that hits them that's out of control. Um, so just be careful. But anyways, I'm gonna make her, um, I, I sent her the menu this week. We're gonna do some salmon, some cauliflower rice, and a salad. So. I picked up a couple of bags because I also love making that lately. It's just my thing. Uh, for Simon, I got him some French loaf for his sandwiches. Chips and a pickle. They come, they go, they come, they go. I'm going to have one right now. They're so delicious. Also, the cheese curds from last week are very good. The dill pickle cheese curds. Mm. These are delicious. And I'm, I think it's so funny that they've kept this same bag despite all the comments and remarks about what the bag looks like. Mm. I'm excited for this. Let me, go to, let me get a knife or a knife, a fork. Okay. So this is not new, but new because I've never tried it. Giant baked beans and tomato sauce. There's an Italian restaurant in Bakersfield called Luigi's, where you can get baked beans. Um, and I, I don't know, I just was having like nostalgia for home. So it's cooked cannellini beans and tomato sauce with Mediterranean herbs and spices. I'm pretty sure the same supplier that makes like the delicious garbanzo beans, the dolmas, all the things that come in this like giant tuna can. <laughs> oh, this looks yummy. Okay, big beans. How, and what's the protein content? Five grams of protein, but there's two and a half servings. So that's 15 grams of protein. Mm. This is really good. If I was going to go on a European picnic, I would take my smoked trout, this can of beans, crackers. Mm. So good. And like a bottle of the pet nat and just go sit you know, the ocean or somewhere with a cute little view. That's it. Bell peppers. I've been using these for a lot of things lately. My bell pepper season is happening in my life right now. I put them on everything. I chop them up and I saute them. You can put them on sandwiches, put them in egg. You can literally have bell peppers with every meal and they just add that little like bright zing, that pop. Bell peppers also are a packed full vitamin C, more vitamin C than an orange. Isn't that a funny, a funny thing to learn? Delicious chopped salads back. This week I got two because Simon was sad. I only bought one last week, so I bought two. Slightly coated dark chocolate almonds. These are absolutely delicious. Um, I keep them in the fridge. I recommend keeping them in the fridge. I also recommend putting them not at your eye level in the fridge because then every time you open the fridge, you're gonna eat them. 
I recommend putting them up a little higher so that like your your destination is the dark chocolate almonds when you go in the fridge not like if it's in your line of sight you're going to eat these but they're just so good this coffee I was scared last week it was gone because this is what I've been using to make cold brew they had another one I um, had the black bag from a couple weeks ago that was phenomenal and I would buy that but um, it's it's the organic one and it, um, it's not there anymore but this makes really 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 good cold brew it's a Honduras Colibri Esmeralda um, small lot coffee with notes of tropical fruits dark chocolate and honey it's a light roast light roast equals more caffeine uh, darker roast less caffeine general rule of them I'm sure there's some outliers for that my favorite cheese is also back one of them one of my favorite cheeses hatch pepper gouda my goodness oh my goodness this is one of my favorites I'm gonna have a little bite right now melt this on a sandwich and a quesadilla I just I love hatch pepper chili last night Simon made the um, new the chili chicken hatch chili uh, bowl and he had no idea what he was making um so I'm watching him make it I'm trying not to interject you know men like to mansplain but the second we do something it's like they look at us like how how dare you but anyways he's making it and he <laughs> I'm watching him like he tried it in the stove and then he's like, he realized he needed the rice to thaw, so he put it in the microwave, then he takes it out, then he cooks it, and I'm just watching it all come together. He has a lot of water, again, I'm not saying anything, then he puts it in a bowl. I gave him cilantro, I said, you're going to want to put cilantro on this, and then he um, leaves the cilantro there. He goes <laughs> into the fridge and gets the balsamic vinegar glaze, so like, think like um, a Mexican bowl, chili flavors and balsamic glaze and he just drizzles it all over like doesn't taste it before he drizzles so I'm just sitting there like oh no that is not gonna go together and I said you know that's like a Mexican style dish and he's like oh it is he just thought it was like an Italian risotto type of dish <laughs> and he put balsamic glaze all over it and then he didn't care he then proceeded to chop up the cilantro and put the cilantro on top of the dish that now at this point has like 3,000 different flavors because he cooked it right in the same pan that I cooked my japchae in and my trout. And I was like, do you want a different pan? He's like, no, 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 it's fine. I'm like, you're gonna have so many flavors in this dish. He sat down to eat it and it walked with me and I almost threw up just because I couldn't pick up all those flavors, like way too many flavors. I was like, oh my gosh. And he looked at me like I was crazy. And I was like, I'm not a crazy one. Hatch pepper gouda, but this is so good. This one's spicier than usual. That cheese really just took me on a journey and I'm happy I shared that story with you. Um, traditional carnitas, I'm gonna make this this week. Um, tacos with the, you get the green salsa verde. So you cook this in the microwave because it's pre-cooked. And then if you have like a standing mixer, the hack is you just put it in a bowl with the mixing on and it'll shred it. Just trust the process, it'll shred it. And then add in some um, salsa verde. And then you can use those little, I like to use the um, jicama wraps, which are in here somewhere. We'll get to those. Um, but in the meantime, marinated artichoke hearts on the go. Picked up a few of these. I also like to put these in the fridge. I put these ones at eye level because then if they're at eye level, when you open the fridge, you're like, ooh, a healthy snack. I always recommend putting the like, the vice type of treats out of eye level and like healthy things at eye level. That way you're more tempted to grab like, an apple, um, not a handful of dark chocolate almonds, which you can certainly do, but that's just my my tip and my advice. Um, go macro bars, I put a couple of those in the fridge. Ooh, I've been so excited for this. Um, the Guava Ultra Moisturizing Hand Cream. Very excited for this. Just number one, it's really cute, and it like this was my color theme riding the bike today, because if you've seen my electric scooter, it's got like these pink wind windshields on it. And it's so cute. So we are going to try this. It's okay. Guava. Guava just feels like a vacation. Then <laughs> yeah, guava. Let's just see. Mmm. It's it's really nice. It's like um fruity meets floral, which I like. I don't like things that are too fruity um, as like lotions. But this has like a really nice balance of like uh, a guava smell. It's, it's a bit floral, a little fruity. 
Yeah, I would definitely use this. That, that says a lot. That's great. And this is like the best hand cream anywhere. It comes in this little tin, which I love. Perfect. And I've been thinking lately I need to moisturize more because my cuticles have been looking so dry. I've been putting marula oil from Trader Joe's on them at night. That stuff's great. I'm excited about that. Um, but yeah, that'll, that'll motivate me to put more moisturizer on my hands. Two alligator pears, also known as avocados. They're not yet ripe. Um, I picked up some more vegan mayo. Stuff's great. Um, I love this salmon. Again, this is like, this is a great bargain from Trader Joe's. I think it's like five bucks or something. Um, but it comes with just frozen salmon and then it is farm raised, but it's like the, the creme de la creme farms up in Norway. So you don't have to worry about the farms. Um, but it comes with this butter. There's three dollops. I find three to be a bit much, so I always do two, but choose your journey. And this time, salmon has never made my stomach hurt. Sometimes salmon does. Um, I don't know if it's like the oils and the butter helps like neutralize it, but it's delicious, it's easy to make. I have friends over, they're like, what's the recipe? I'm like, it's a secret, just kidding. It's from Trader Joe's. For Simon, I picked up some oil-free antioxidant facial moisturizer. He just emptied his. I love watching guys put on like serums and things because like girls were like so delicate and gentle and guys are literally like pump, pump, pump. And I'm just like simmer it down, little, little, little more gentleness. Garbanzo beans, I find buying one can a week's great and I use it in salads or bowls. What do we pick up now? Um, some more Jarlsberg light cheese. We like this cheese in breakfast sandwiches and in sandwiches, and it's a great snack. 50 calories per slice, seven grams of protein per slice. It's really, really good, and unlike some other dairy cheeses that make me break out, I don't really have an issue with that. Also, the breakouts don't stop me from eating cheese, it's just something I note. Um, I'm bet like, for instance, like um, cow cheese tends to make me break out, but goat cheese doesn't, so I just have to keep an eye out. Um, this is the Jap tray. Jap J, I'm not sure if I'm saying it right. You guys correct me every week, but I got two of those, and that's what I do. Um, I, I cook my trout, and then I use the Jap J in the same pan, and it is literally like the best dish. If you've been following my stories on Instagram, you see it at least once a week. And I picked up some of the pad thai for Simon. He loves, loves, loves this pad thai. Oh yeah, and then here are the jicama wraps. Jicama wraps are here. What is, oh, there's just a bar in there. Hickama wraps are here. Um, and that is it. Oh, no, it's not, just kidding. <laughs> Almond beverage. Um, I also posted a real, my frother has a cold foam setting and I discovered it and it was like, it's a game changer because I've been having cold brew and now I put cold foam on it and it's like this creamy experience and I literally feel like a barista. I, I, if I go for like a run, I'll like treat myself on my run to where I'm like, okay, this is the end of my run, and then I walk with my, my coffee. But other than that, I love my cold brew at home so much. So good. Um, I also picked up a tomato because I had this bagel sandwich this weekend, and it, it had like chunky tomato, like a chunk of tomato slice on it with the most delicious like salt and pepper with lemon in it. And I was just like, oh, tomatoes can be so good. So I bought one just to see if this is the right, it's a hothouse tomato. It looks thick like it's gonna be beefy, so hopefully it's good. And then I bought four limes for the cilantro lime rice, which I'm gonna make. I already have cilantro, so cauliflower rice. But that's it, $167. I was happy I was able to get all this on my scooter and my little basket. I do have like a little bungee net I put over it, so everything's pretty secure, but every time I still get nervous. Um, I'm going to hang around on my live and chat with you guys for a little bit, but thanks for watching YouTube and I will see you next week and keep an eye out for some reels and some YouTube shorts. I'll be posting more videos to all of those, but I will see you guys later. Bye.